To be able to use secrets that are stored in Key Vault as part of our Azure Resource Manager deployment, the first thing we need to do is actually enable the Vault so that Azure Resource Manager can talk to it. To do that, we go into the Access Policies option, then the Show Advanced Access Policies, and in here we have a number of tick boxes. The one we want is this one in the middle, Enable Access to Azure Resource Manager for Template Deployment. If we tick that and click Save, that now allows Azure Resource Manager to be able to talk to the Vault at the time of deployment. We're now able to go over and look in VS Code at our deployment template and see how we actually pull them in. Over in VS Code, we've got an ARM template ready to go. This is a fairly simple one. All it's doing is deploying a web application plan and then a web application itself. And what we want to do is pass in a database connection string to this web app so that it can talk to Azure SQL. We want that connection string to come from a secret in Key Vault and to pass it in in a secure manner. So the first thing we're going to do is configure a parameter to pass that into the template. You see we've already got one here which is the application name which is a string. We create one similarly but we're going to change the type. So the type for things that come from Key Vault need to be secure string rather than just string. So let's create that. So we're going to call it DB connection string and we're going to change the type from string to secure string. That parameter is ready to go. The only thing we need to do now is reference it in our template to actually use that value. So if we scroll down, we've got this application settings section and we've got our DB connection string property ready to go. So we'll just set that to use that parameter we set up. And that's all we need to do in the actual template itself. It's now ready to receive the connection string in a secure manner and to actually pass it in, we need to go and look at our parameters file. We've already got one parameter in here, which is the application name. We want to pass in a second one, which is our connection string. But instead of using a plain string here, we want to pass in the value from Key Vault. So we're going to use a special syntax here for the parameter, which is different to the one we see here. And we'll just paste that in. You see, we're going to use the name of DB connection string, which matches up with what we've got in our template. And then we've got this reference section. So this is going to allow us to reference the fact that we want to pull this value from Key Vault. We specify that, that it's Key Vault, and then we give it an ID. And this ID is the resource ID of the Key Vault we want the, uh, we want the data to come from. And so we're passing that in in the full Azure resource format with the subscription ID, the resource group name, the type, and then lastly, the name of the Key Vault we want the data to come from. Down at the bottom, we've got this section for secret name, which is the name of the secret in the Key Vault that we want to pass in as this parameter. And that's all you have to do. Now, when we run this ARM template along with this parameter file, it's going to go over to Key Vault and fetch that secret. So as long as that secret exists, we'll be able to pass that in to our ARM template at deploy time. So let's see if that works. Back in the Azure portal, you can see we've got our web application here that we deployed earlier. And at the moment, it doesn't have any application settings. This was deployed before we added in that DB connection strings parameter. So if we now go ahead and deploy the portal again using the updated template, what we should see is that the parameter is passed through and we get an application setting in here. So let's go ahead and run the deployment. And that's now finished and you can see we've got our two parameters which were passed in including the connection string which is a secure string. So hopefully the value has been passed through. If we go back to the portal and we refresh and we can see now we've got a DB connection string application setting available and if we click on the value to have a look we can see we've got our connection string in here the value of which has come from Key Vault. So that's really all there is to passing in values from Key Vault. You can pass in as many as you like just by adding more parameters and um, you can even have them come from different Key Vaults just by changing the, the value of the, the Vault name in that reference section. I hope you found that useful and I'll see you next time.